This week, I have the privilege and honor of ministering on a panel at ORU. And I will also be ministering at Tulsa and Oklahoma City this week. So I'd love to see you if you're in the Oklahoma region and area. Honolulu, one of my favorite places on earth. I will be back in Honolulu, in Hawaii, and end of March, beginning April. Sharababa. Evangelist Gary, God bless you. Pastor Sharon, God bless you. Dolores Shinaberry, God bless you. Fayetteville, NC. Apple Valley, California. Look at that. Good to see you, Tony, and spend some time. Los Angeles, California, down the street from me. Thank you, Lord. Pittsburgh, PA. I'm going to be ministering around the Mechanicsburg area. So we'd love to see you then, Katie. Placerville, CA. Glory. South Africa. Well, thanks so much, friends, for jumping on today. Hello, Francine. Apostle Sheldon, good to see you, my friend. Trinidad, Tobago. Glory to God. First and foremost, I want to say happy January and happy new year. I know we're 23 days in to 2023. Wow, how prophetic. 23rd day of 2023. Some would say that's alignment. That is prophetic alignment right there. But today, I want to talk to you because I believe God has something very special for you. My goodness, I don't know if y'all are ready for this. God has something very special for you. And I believe in this season, God is saying, son, daughter, all the warfare you've experienced, all the pushback you've experienced, any adversity, atrocity, misfortunes, unfortunate situations, the Lord has something bigger, better, and greater for you. God has something very special for you. Now I want to prophesy and I want to declare the word of the Lord because God began ministering to me earlier today and he showed me gifts and surprises coming to his body. I'm going to say that again. Gifts and surprises. The Bible says, as Jesus ascended to the highest place. He gave gifts to men. He gave gifts to his body, to his church. So the father is a good giver. The father loves to give. He loves to bless. And I saw in the spirit gifts and surprises. I want to prophesy over you the long awaited gift you've been waiting for. It's coming. The long-awaited breakthrough you've been anticipating, it's coming. How long have you been waiting for the word of the Lord to come to pass? But I believe, hear me now, by the end of January, the Lord is going to give you a very special and personal gift. Something you've been waiting on, you've been believing for, you've been waiting on the Lord to give you. This is not the, by the doing of man. This is by the doing of God. This is exceptionally supernatural. This is strictly prophetic. But you're going to know that God has done a great thing. And as the Bible says, he has done great things. And it is marvelous in my sight. You're going to be in awe and in wonder. He's going to renew your childlike faith and innocence again. You're going to have googly eyes. You're going to have dove eyes. You're going to be in shock and awe and in wonder. Thank you, Kimberly Murphy, for being a subscriber. You're going to be in shock and in awe and in wonder by what the Lord does, even by the end of January. If you receive it, say amen. Now, I need you to give me some hearts and likes. Continue to share this on your wall. Because the Lord is saying, I am giving 
depositing, imparting, transferring many gifts and surprises to my people, says God. In fact, I see even destiny scrolls, new mantles. There's new anointings that have been rolled up. What happened when the prophet Elijah went back up into heaven by chariots of fire? What happened? The Bible says that his mantle fell on the ground and Elisha, his spiritual son and protege, picked up the mantle and rolled it together. My goodness, I feel the rolling away anointing. But God is saying, Shakarabata, get ready for mantles to drop. Get ready for gifts to be released. The battle in the heavenly realms is now done and broken. And the Lord has expedited his delivery. Who here knows that when you go to the postal office, you can pay extra, say extra. You can pay extra for an expedited fee or expedited delivery. You can pay extra for faster shipping. I'm telling you, friends, God knows how to get his blessings to you. God knows how to get his gifts to his children. No thief, no robber, no burglar is going to come in between and thwart the plan of God and steal and burglarize and vandalize what God is releasing to you. But every single God-ordained gift is being released over your life in Jesus' name. So the Lord is expediting his gifts. So get ready for surprises. I'm telling you, as a man of God, I am prophesying over your life. By the end of January, expect the delivery. Expect the deliveries to be delivered to your door. Things are going to be expedited. Fast miracles, fast breakthrough, fast promotion, quick salvations, undeniable miracles in families, the return of prodigals. There's going to be a quick work from now till the end of January. By the way, friends, we have about one more week till the end of this month. For God says, your fasting, your consecration, seeking my face, laying down your life, picking up your cross, your secret prayers, secret sacrifices, the way you've honored the Lord, all of the consecration you've done, even in the last 21 days, it has stored up, it has marked up gifts and blessings in the heavenly realms. So get ready for an outpouring. It's called a tipping point. I prophesy you are in the middle of the greatest tipping point of your life. What happens at a tipping point? The bowls are filled to the brim and it begins to overflow and tip over. God is about to tip the scales of justice. I'm telling you, there is a tipping of the scales of justice and judgment in your life. God is tipping things over. In fact, even now in the spirit, I see the Lord tipping over every high place, idol, Asherah pole, every Baal altar. God is tipping over every tower of Babel in Jesus' name. Some would say it's tipping over. But I believe God has something very special for you. The Lord ministered to my heart personally. And he said, son, I have something very special. I have something very special for you. Even by the end of this month, though it delays, it shall not tarry any longer. Thank you, Marina, for being a subscriber. There is a tipping point and a spirit of delay is being broken 100% in Jesus' mighty name. So get ready, says God, for my gifts is being delivered quickly. 
Get ready for surprises and for suddenlies. You're going to suddenly get caught up in the glory. You're going to suddenly get caught up in the glory realm. Thank you, Yvonne, for being a subscriber. You're going to suddenly receive your promotion, receive your miracle. Your healing testimony. You're going to suddenly receive from the mouth and the hand of God. If you're ready to receive, say amen. So the Lord showed me. He showed me gifts and surprises. And the Lord wanted to encourage me with this. I need you to follow me. Give me some hearts and likes, friends. First Corinthians chapter two, verse nine. Huh. It is written, no eye has seen, no ear has heard, and no human mind has conceived, has fathomed, imagined what God has prepared for those who love him. What God has prepared. Someone say prepared. What God has prepared for those who love him. My goodness. I don't think y'all are ready for this. What God has prepared for those who love him. What does that mean? Preparation. What that means is he has prepared before you've arrived. Even before you were born. Even before you were in the twinkle in your mother's eye. Even before you were conceived, sperm and egg came together. God prepared an array, a table, a banqueting table for your future. The Lord has prepared many great things for you. That's why the Bible says we go from glory to glory, one level to another, breakthrough to breakthrough. You're about to increase. You're elevating. You're going up in the glory of God. 1 Corinthians 2 and 9. You are going up in the glory of God and God has prepared those things for you in advance. In advance. Even while you were dead in your sin, it was prepared. Even while you were done and you threw in the towel, it was prepared. Even before you said yes to God again, it was prepared. So the Lord showed me and he spoke to me, said, son, I have many things in store for my children. I have so much more, say much more. He's a God of the much more. Come on. He's a God of the much more. In fact, the Bible says that he's a God of so much more. He's a God of the much more. And he's the God of the so much more. Romans 5, 17. If by one man trespass has entered and death has reigned, though through that one man, how much more will those who receive God's abundant provision and grace and of the gift of righteousness reign in life through the one man, Jesus Christ? Someone say much more. He's a God of so much more. He's a God of better things. The Bible says his blood speaks a better word. So God is the God of so much more. God is the God of much better, of better things. So God, hear me now. He has foreknowledge, foreknown. He has foreknown of what is to come. So therefore, because God is in the future, but he's also in the now, in the present. He's a great I am, not the great I will be or the great I was. God is a great I am. So therefore, because God is both the God of the future and the now, the present, he has gone ahead of you and he's prepared the way. He has gone ahead of you and he prepared the much more and the better things already, even before you knew it, even before you believed, even before you said yes, even before you gave your life to Jesus, even before he prepared these things for you in advance. Someone say amen. 
Someone say, preach, Dr. Ben. He prepared it in advance. Just like the Lord went before them in the wilderness, God has gone before you. Just like he sent angels to go before the Israelites, God has gone before you to prepare the manna, to prepare the quail, to prepare the provision. Some would say the provision is already there. Oh, I feel like I'm preaching now. Somebody say the provision is already there. The miracles is already there. Zabakara, it's already there. The proof is already in the pudding. It's already there. The provision is already there. But you need to catch up. You need to grow up, come up to tap into and receive the already there anointing. It's already there. Your breakthrough, your vindication, it's already there. Your healing miracle, it's there. It's here. It's now. It's already there. But you need to catch up and grow up and you need to go on to receive the already there anointing. Listen, friends, help me to break the 200 mark today. Amen. Help me to break the 200 mark today. In the mighty name of Jesus. It's the already there anointing. Your miracle is already there. The provision is already there. Hear me now. The true friends, covenant brothers and sisters that you need. The mentors, spiritual fathers and mothers that you need. The endorsement, the alignment, the receiving, the reception of certain believers that you already need is already there. The open doors are already there. You don't need to fight to struggle, to compete, to compare. You don't need to worry, Haraboka, but it's already there. It's already there for you. Once again, no eye has seen, no ear has heard, no heart has fathomed what God has prepared for those who love Him. Come on, somebody. Someone say, prepare. Now, I'm being led now to look in the definition for the English word prepare. The English word prepare, the definition, oh, it is so good, means to make ready for use. Make ready for use. Remember when Jesus spoke to his disciples and he said, there's already a donkey prepared for my use. It's already there. It's already been prepared, made ready for use. Somebody say, Jesus has made me ready for battle. That word prepare in the English definition dictionary, prepare means make ready for use. God has already prepared you. God has already prepared many things. And the Lord showed me that there's so much more that God has for you. Oh my goodness. I'm going real Bible today, quoting scripture upon scripture. Praise God. As the way it should be. Amen. If you're enjoying the same, man, give me some hearts and likes and friends. Help me to break the 200 number today. Romans 8, 32. He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all. How will he not also, along with him, graciously give us all things? Someone say graciously. How could he not also graciously haha, give you all things, all things? If God the Father, your Father, if he gave up his one and only Son, how could he not ever so graciously, generously give you all things? 
Did you know that God is a gracious and generous God? He's not a stingy or a greedy God. He's a generous father. He's a gracious daddy. Rabba Korabrasa Tarabrata. The Lord is saying, how can I not give you anything and everything? Jesus said, ask anything in my name and it will be done. It will be given. I prophesy by the end of this month of January, many of you are going to receive gifts and surprise gifts from the Lord, from Father above in heaven. If you receive it, say amen. I'm telling you, friends, by the end of this month of January, the Lord is going to bless you, give you, transfer, impart, impress. He's going to entrust you with gifts and surprises by the end of this year. If you believe it, say amen. Now, I think this is incredible because the Lord showed me this morning Many gifts, many surprises, many suddenlies. It's going to shock you. It's going to shock your family. It's going to shock the world around me. And the Lord showed me so much set up and prepared. And the Lord said, son, by the end of January, I'm going to release my gifts and surprises to those that have waited to those that have sacrificed, to those that have paid the price. I believe my friends, in this season, God wants your expectation to be up. He wants your expectation to be high because God has a very special and personal gift for you. The Bible says that God will give you the desires of your heart if you delight yourself in the Lord. If you delight yourself in the Lord. Now, let me ask you, what are you believing for? What do you desire? What is it that you want? And this is not a carnal, soulish thing, but this is as a son and as a daughter of the Most High God. Your father is literally saying, son, daughter, I have a blank check for you. I have a blank check for you. What do you want written on this blank check? So let's backtrack Romans 832. How will he not also along with him graciously give us all things? Graciously give us all things. Now, I want you to be specific. I want you to be specific. Who here knows? God is a God of specificities, not generalities. God loves the specific details, not just general, not just generalizations. So graciously give us all things. So I want you to imagine this. Graciously give you dot, dot, dot. Graciously give you dot, dot, dot. You fill in the blanks. You fill the words in. How can he not graciously give you the desires of your heart? And I believe we are in a season. We are in a time that from now to the end of January, the Lord is saying, ask big, believe big, because God is a big God and he's about to bless you big. Some would say, I'm big blessed. He's about to bless you big. By the end of this month, I agree with my faith with yours. I agree. Every promise is yes and amen. Every promise. Watch God do it. Watch the Lord do it. Someone say amen. So earlier, 
the Lord showed me a vision of gifts and surprises. And God has prepared many things for you. Let me tell you, friends, he has prepared anointings, mantles, opportunities, healing, miracles, divine appointments, friendships, alignments. He has prepared many gifts for you. And I believe by the end of this month of January, mark these words, if I be a man of God, if I be a prophet, put this to the test. Watch God do and move by the end of this month. Someone say amen. If you receive it, say I receive it. Even by the end of this month, watch God give you the personal and special gift that you've been waiting for and believing for in the mighty name of Jesus. Once again, he knows how to get his word to you. He knows how to give you desires of your heart. He knows how to give you the victory when you need it, the promotion when it's most needed. He knows how to bless you big time in front of all your enemies. For truly, this is a Psalm 23 year. Truly, this is the year of Psalm 23. Verse five, he set up a table before me and my enemies. Set up a table before me and my enemies. Isn't that incredible? Not behind you, but in front of you. Not behind you, but in front of you. Which means your greatest days are still ahead. The Bible says he set up a table before you, in front of you. Not behind you. I don't care how great your ministry was last year. This year it will be greater. I don't care how great the anointing on your life was. Come on. There's something greater. There's something much more. The better anointing. He's the God of better things. He's a God of so much more. There's something so much more, so much sweeter, so much better, brighter, wiser, glorious, more holy, more awesome. There's something so much more for you. It's before you, not behind you. I want to prophesy this over you. God is before you. And the devil is behind you. In fact, the devil is beneath you. Oh, I'm preaching good today. Shut it. The devil is behind and beneath you. And I prophesy right now in the name of Jesus. Get ready for God to set up. <laughs> My goodness. God is going to set up an incredible table before you. Now, God has just given me revelation on these scriptures. Imagine a beautiful table that's set up. How long do you think a beautiful array, a beautiful banquet table would take? God's not a flimsy God. God does not go to the 99 cent store and pick up plastics from China and he does not use throw a bowl, throw away a bowl, disposable items. If God sets up a table, you best believe it's the best of the best. It's the best of the best. If the Lord sets up a table, you better, leave, better believe it's better than five star. It is better than Michelin star. You know that the Lord will only set up the best for his children. And I'm here to prophesy over you. It's only getting better from here. You are only going higher from here. I'm here to declare over you right now. You are only going higher. It's only getting better. The Lord is setting up 
so much more and so much better for you. The material the Lord uses, it will be gold, it will be diamonds, it will be uh, frankincense, his myrrh, huh? It will be the best of the best. He knows how to give the best and get the best to you. Do you know why? Because you're his child. You're his favorite. You're his son. And you're his daughter. God will not set something up that's going to be frail and be broken so easily and so quickly. But he would only set up something that's firm, sturdy, beautiful, and magnificent. If you believe it, say amen. He is setting you up. He is a divine setter upper. My goodness. I prophesy over you. Even by the end of this month, the Lord is going to bless you with a personal and special gift. Personal. Someone say personal. Someone say it's personal. God is a personal God. He's not a generic, generalistic God. He knows exactly what you like. He knows exactly what you need. He knows exactly what is best for you. How many of you were raised in a big family. Let me ask you right now. Write in the comment section. How many siblings do you have? I only have one older brother. That's only two of us. Smaller family. But growing up. In the church as a PK. We had many people around us all the time. But I only had a small family. Just the two of us. Uh, Malori says seven of us. Prophet Ivana says seven. Melissa Shu, five siblings. Lichian, six. Julie, one. Sue had three other sisters. So look at that. The numbers are coming in. 13 for my father, three for my mother. Wow. Mara Foster, I think you win today. Seven of us, 10 of us. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. But you see, there's 10 of you. Nina Fox has eight our grandparents raised. So imagine if there's eight of you. Would your parents love each child in the same way? Or would you love each child differently? Because it's personal. Why would I love you like I love Rob? Why would I love you like I love Felipe, Adrian? Why would I love you in the same way? No, my love, my gifts to you are personal. If you're following me today, say amen. And give us some hearts and likes. Because the Lord knows how to make it personal. And God takes things personally. God takes things per he, he takes things personally He takes things He takes matters Into his own hands Hallelujah And I declare and I decree By the end of this month By the end of January Expect the Lord To give you A special And personal gift Surprises And suddenlies God's going to give you the desire of your heart even by the end of this month. Why? Well, because he can. Why? Because he loves you. Why? Because you have done the better thing by seeking his face, by doing the one thing to see the beauty of the, of the glory of the Lord all the days of your life in the temple of the Lord. Psalm 27 verse 4. To do the better thing. The one thing. Because you did the better thing. By starting off this year. In consecration. Fasting. Seeking the face of God. So therefore God. 
is about to honor you. God is not a liar. He is not a cheapskate God. He does not like to withhold. All right, check this out. Glory be to God. Micah. Hallelujah. Micah chapter 3 verse 4. Micah chapter 3 verse 4. The Bible says, Then they will cry out to the Lord. Uh -huh. Praise God. Excuse me very quick. Shatarabata. We're going to skip Micah here. Because that verse is different from what I wanted. But God does not withhold his blessings from his children. He does not withhold. He holds four. Glory to God. Psalm 84 verse 11. Psalm 84 11. For the Lord is a sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. He will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from those who walk uprightly. No good thing will he withhold. If you are walking in the righteousness and holiness of God, seeking his face, there's no good thing that God will withhold. No good thing. Do you know why? Because it's not that you earned it or you deserve it. It's not that we are entitled to it. No, not at all. But it's because you will reap what you sow. And when you sow righteousness, you will reap a harvest of righteousness. When you sow love, when you sow integrity, wisdom, blessing, then you will reap those things from God himself. No good thing does God withhold from those who seek his face. Someone say amen. If you receive this word today, I want you to say amen. Give us some hearts and likes and share this on your wall. Because I decree and I declare by the end of January, the Lord is about to shock and surprise you and give you a special and personal gift in the name of his son, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. Is your faith high? Is your expectation high? Now going back to this, how could he not generously give us all things? Generously give you dot, dot, dot. I want you right now to fill in the blank. How can he not generously, graciously give you Fill in the blank. Even by the end of this month, in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm telling your friends. Jesus, my goodness. Rabba Shota Rabraka. My goodness. The Lord is about to do it. God has a last and final word. And he will never let his servants be put to shame. I am the God that healeth thee. I am the Lord, your healer. I took your sins and I healed your disease. I am the Lord. Your healer. You are the God. 
that healeth thee. You are the Lord, my healer. You took my sins and you healed my disease. You are the Lord, our healer. Lift up your hands. Lord, I thank you. Bless your people. Let your will be done. Let your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread as we forgive our trespassers and as we forgive those that have trespassed against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the glory and the honor forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Someone say amen. Maso tora braka tora brosa. Shandara la boca tara brasa. Rakata. Expect the supernatural from the Lord. <sighs> Expect something so divine from Jesus. Well, friends, God bless you. Thank you for watching and joining me today. I pray that you were blessed. If you are blessed, say I'm blessed. Give us some hearts and likes. Tag somebody. Share this on your wall. Thank you, everybody. Prophetess Ivana, Prophetess Chelsea, for sharing and for tagging. Friends, I want to make note tonight in a few hours. I'm actually hosting my free Zoom webinar. I would love to see you on a Zoom webinar tonight, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard. We're going to talk about breaking soul ties. Amen. It's still the new year. It's still a new season. And as we start off this year, I want you to be the most happy, most liberal, most free. I want you to be the most whole people there is on planet Earth. So tonight at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard, we have our free Zoom webinar. And we're going to talk about breaking soul ties. Did you know that some of what you're dealing with or struggling with may not even be you. It may be a soul tie. It may be a spirit tie. It may be something that you open up the door to and something that was agreed upon in your life. So I want you to join. You do need to register. Amen. Shakara tonight at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard. You do need to register to be a part of the private Zoom webinar. Our monthly Zoom webinars are all free now. So much meat, depth, teaching of impartation. It's going to be life changing. So I would love to see you. Amen. If you're going to join the webinar tonight, I want to say I'm joining. Comment, I'm joining. It's tonight, Monday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard. D says, I can't wait. Sudir, God bless you. Ha. Thank you, Prophetess Alana. Prophetess Chelsea, would love to see you. Child of Most High. Prosperity and more. Mead, B. Vicky, Heidi, God bless. Tracy Rose, awesome. Chanel Jackson, God bless. Melly Samuel Sawish. Kim Padilla, so excited. Amen. Me too. Prophetess Ivana. Glory. Claire Brush. Pauline. Glory. Tiffany Johnson, Lindeva Delomo, haha. 
Thank you, Lord. We'd love to see you tonight. Tonight, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard, we have our free Zoom webinar on breaking soul ties. We're going to break and destroy every tie of the devil, every tie of demonic flesh and soul and carnality in the mighty name of Jesus. Well, God bless you, friends. Thanks for watching. Please consider giving this page a like and a follow. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube, and also here on Facebook. With your help, your love, your support, we can continue to reach more people with the prophetic word of God and with the power of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you, everybody, for joining. And get ready. By the end of this month, God will release a special personal gift for you in Jesus' name. If you receive it, say amen. God bless you, friends. Thank you. Ciao. I'll see you soon.